Chinese government basically telling us that it did. Wuhan is the only level four laboratory in all of China. So that's where you would put a dangerous pathogen. Whether you were genetically engineering it to be a weapon or not, that's where you would be experimenting on it. So it makes sense that the epicenter of the epidemic, that the lab there would be the source of that virus. Stephen Mosher was the first person we heard say that. Very few honest people would disagree at this point. Steve Moser is the author of The Politically Incorrect Guide to Pandemics, and he joins us tonight. Thanks so much for coming on. Again, I think you've been vindicated. Thank you, Tucker. Um, but not in the pages <laughs> of the New York Times and not from the podium in the White House briefing room. And you have to wonder, how is it two and a half years later when the entire world order has been reshuffled thanks to this virus that the Biden administration and the U.S. Congress aren't trying to find out where it came from? Well, Tucker, I appreciate the vindication from you much more than I would a vindication from the New York Times, which I hardly read anymore and probably won't read at all in the future. Uh, look, you know, if, if you look back at the history of pandemics, uh, communist China is the great epicenter of pandemics over the last 70 years. Uh, the Hong Kong flu in 68 came from China. We call it the Hong Kong flu. That's a misnomer. Uh, the Asian flu in 58 came from China. China hit it for months on end before telling the world there was a dangerous virus on the loose, even after tens of thousands of people in China were dying. A million people died around the world because the Chinese Communist Party covered it up. And then again in 2003 with SARS-1, November, a snake seller in Guangdong province in southern China, died from a snake coronavirus. He was handling raw snake meat or eating raw snake meat, we don't know. But China did the same thing. It covered it up for months. It doctored the data saying that it wasn't as infectious as it actually was. They silenced whistleblowers. They lied to the World Health Organization repeatedly. And at the end of the day, it wasn't uh, China that revealed the existence of the epidemic, it was Western intelligence services that said, look, there's something dangerous going on in China. And at the same time, they said it was a foreign actor who unleashed a bioterrorist weapon in China. This was back in 2003. Does that all sound familiar? That's the same playbook that we saw in 2019 and 2020. We should have been ready for it. China, again, communist China is the great breeding ground of pandemics. This pandemic is different, though, because it was started in the lab and it was released deliberately on the world. And why more people aren't talking about it, uh, I don't understand. Well, it, it, it tells you how beholden people feel to the Chinese government. But, of course, China's the big winner in yes. all this. That's been obvious since the beginning. Stephen Mosher, I, I really appreciate your coming on. And I hope we see you again.